Two Fish Talks. Hi everybody, welcome to Two Fish Talks. I'm Miss Brooke, and this is my good friend Ruff. <laughs> and we're here today to read with you from our favorite book, the Bible. Are you ready? Let's go. God gives Job good gifts. Job 30. Job had been a very rich man with a wonderful family. He had always loved God and pleased him very much. But Satan told God that the only reason Job was faithful to God was because he was rich and healthy. So God let Satan take Job's riches and health from him. Job lost his animals. He lost his children. He lost everything he had. He even became very sick. When Job's wife and three friends said terrible things to him, he still stayed faithful to God. But Job said, When I cry to you, God, you don't answer. You are so unkind to me. Show me where I'm wrong. Then God helped Job see what a great God he really is. God asked Job, Where were you when I made the earth? Who decided how big the seas would be? Where does light come from? What about snow, hail, and rain? God reminded Job of the stars, the seasons, and the laws of the universe. Then God talked about some of the animals he created. He asked Job what he knew about mountain goats, donkeys, ostriches, horses, and hawks. What about the mighty hippopotamus and the strong crocodile? God said, everything under heaven is mine. Then Job knew how great God is and how small and unimportant each of us is. Forgive me, Job begged. God spoke to Job's three friends. I am angry with you, for you have been very wrong in what you said about me, God told them. Give me an offering. Job will pray for you, and I will hear his prayer. Job's three friends obeyed God. Then Job prayed for them, and God heard his prayer. After that, God gave Job twice as much as he had before. Job's brothers, sisters, and friends came to celebrate with him and comfort him. In time, Job had seven more sons and three more daughters. Job lived to be 140 years old. He saw his grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and Job stayed faithful to the Lord. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.